Hi, it's Daisy Lee with Pennsylvania Pipeline Music TV, and we have a friend that we want to tell you guys a little bit about. He needs our help. I think you know him. He's a great area musician, and he's given to you, so it's time to give back to him. Who we're talking about is my little brother, Chris. Uh, Chris has been passionate about music all his life. Uh, he's been in and out of different hobbies, but he always went back to the guitar. Um, I, I think uh, he started playing uh, a lot of Queen music, a lot of Freddie Mercury music and a lot of their guitar music and from there he just progressed and got better and better um, and he picked a lot of stuff up by ear he was just an, an incredibly talented young man uh, with the guitar I can't say enough for the talent and I'd love to watch him play I met Chris in the third grade. I think it was third or fourth, something like that. Anyways, we were both just young guitarists, and um, he's one of the musicians that's just so incredibly talented that you quickly learn that you're never going to catch him. So, uh, at just some point over the years, I just decided I'd become his biggest fan. And so he went out to live the dream for us while I was raising a family. And um, recently, he's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and uh, he has an incredible battle ahead of himself. Yeah, I met Chris uh, right about the time he joined Harpo, and uh, they've done a couple of shows prior to that with Harpo, and it's gone back to 25 plus years ago, and we've been pretty tight, pretty close ever since then, we've gone to shows, doing things together, we get to play in the All-Stars together a couple of shows, I mean, giving a lot back to charity with that band as well, I mean, we, uh, Chris Avani, it goes without saying, is the best guitar player in this region, every guitar player in this area has looked up to him for years, you know, you hear the name Chris Avani is here, you know who you're talking about. Um, like I said, three weeks ago he was diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer. He got a tough fight ahead of him. We decided to put Team Silvani together, then turned into Team Silvani Foundation. We're trying to raise money. We're going to have three events. The first one will be in July 17th at Hull's Landing. It's going to be an acoustic event uh, from 6 to 10, 11 p.m. Uh, the lineup will be announced tomorrow on Facebook uh, on the Team Silvani page. You can go to Team Silvani now and then pull that page up. You also have July 31st, uh, the, the, the show will start in the afternoon from 2 to 6 at Hull's Landing from 8 to midnight. It'll revert to the Valley Inn in South Williamsport. We're going to utilize both rooms there. Uh, the great lineup of bands for that night. And then Sunday we're going to finish up at uh, Susquehanna Valley Big Twins in Woolwich, Pennsylvania. That's 84 Harley Drive in Woolwich. Actually, I think it's a Lock Haven address. But we have two stages set up down there, and they're going to be some of the area's top bands playing all day long. So when one band's done, the next band will start. We have T-shirts coming. We have can koozies coming. We have uh, bumper stickers coming. We're, there's going to be an online store uh, that's going to release tomorrow. You can buy you know, hoodies, T-shirts. You can custom make shirts however you want with the logo on it. And uh, all of, every bit of the profits of all of that go directly to Chris and to his account. So he's got a, a lot of network for his health care. Um, he's with one one network. He's got to go to another one, and the, and the cost of doing that is ridiculously high. The copays and everything else, not to mention three hours of travel every time he heads out to Pittsburgh. So um, he starts uh, his battle tomorrow. Uh, his chemo starts uh, literally tomorrow, and that's three months of that. And then they're going to determine you know what, where to go and proceed from there. So I'm going to turn it over to Bill. Bill's played with this guy on stage for. Good part of that 25 years. 30. 30 years. About, the, about 30 plus years. I'm going to throw with a kind of a humorous story the first time I met Chris Silvani. Didn't even know his name. And we were at Fiddlesticks. My band Harpo was uh, off the road and uh, we were just still on the verge of replacing our, our guitar player. We released our first album, our, it's actually our second album, Arm to Deliver in 80, 87 going on 88. And this was like 89. And I'm at a little uh, rock club in Milton called Fiddlesticks. And I'm sure some of your rock fans that uh, were into the live music back in the 80s will remember that club. And I remember this long haired, uh, didn't even know, it looked like a rocker, he came up to me and he obviously knew who I was. And he says, hey, so I hear you're looking for a guitar player. And I, I looked at him and went, no, we're not. Where'd you hear that? I didn't even know who he was. Because uh, when we were replacing our guitar player, it's one of those things where we didn't want the word to get out for the simple reason we didn't want guitar players coming out of the woodwork and, and wanting to do auditions. We were going to kind of, the lack of a better word, kind of weed it out so we'd only have three or four auditions and uh, after we, I found out who he was, I think I talked to somebody else that was 
at the club. And he said, oh, that's, that's, his name's Chris Silvani. He's from Williamsport. He was in this band called Red Baron. And I hadn't even heard of Red Baron, to be honest. But uh, anyway, anyway, so somehow we got back in touch and I found out who he was, how to reach out to him. And he came down and uh, nailed the audition. And uh, we were out uh, within, within two weeks. I mean, the guy, uh, as far as guitar wise, he had such a feel, such a heart. My original guitar player, John Hahn, who went on to do actually, I don't know how many uh, solo albums that uh, he had. He was kind of more like um, Ingve Malmsteen meets, uh, let's see, Randy Rhodes. That was my original guitar player. Where Chris had just a little bit more of a feel, a little more from the, from the heart. He was more to me, reminded me of like... Uh, I'd say uh, Warren D. Martini meets uh, Vito Brada. And if you're a musician or a guitar player, you know who all these guitar players are. I don't have to say what bands they were with or whatever. And he got the gig for, for Harpo. And then after Harpo, I, we took a, after 25 years of doing this full time with Harpo, we uh, took, a, took a break. We did some reunion tours. And, and then I decided to, to do a side project called Sucker Punch which was a little different uh, style of music, a little more of the 90s and the 2000s. Godsmack, Three Days Grace, Disturbed, and, uh, and he just had that. Not only could play the kind of stuff we were doing with Harpo, but he could play pretty much anything. So between uh, my band Harpo and the, the side project Sucker Punch, Chris Silvani was my guitar player, and bottom line is the rest was history. And I think from that, Billy, he became not only your guitar player, but one of your really good friends. And he's a really good friend to anyone. So let's get together right now in, in the next three Absolutely. months and get this stuff done for him. Let's yep. get him some help. Yep. You can go to Facebook, Team Silvani. The page is up. It's still a little work being done to it, but the page is up. You can go to it and you know like it. Send it to your friends. Put it on your page. Share it. Uh, let's get that those numbers up. Uh, it went up later earlier this afternoon. So... Hopefully the t-shirt store up uh, soon as well. Um, hopefully it'll be done tomorrow. He is on the page as well. You can also go to Muncie Bank & Trust, any Muncie Bank & Trust. Call Muncie Bank & Trust. Give them your credit card number. Tell them the money's for Team Silvani, the foundation. That the money was directly into his account. They're not charging us a fee to do this. We decided to hold off on the GoFundMe page because they charge a fee. And we'd rather all the money that we can get through Chris goes to Chris. So that's how we're doing that. So if you see this. And you can get the Muncie Bank and Trust and walk in and give them a deposit or give them a donation. Fantastic. Any Mun Muncie Bank and Trust, they're aware and they know uh, where the money needs to go. So, uh, and you can also call them on the phone. I'll be posting the, the link to the, that bank tomorrow on the website so you'll be able to, to be able to find them as well. So, Live it, love it, rock it. Thanks for coming, Woo. guys. Good. Thank you. Yeah, baby. <laughs>